Mike Seidel of the Weather Channel is in Holly Springs, Mississippi. Mike, show us the damage that you're seeing around you. Yeah, this is uh, the devastation here. We're about 45 miles uh, south southeast of Memphis, and the twister came in from the southwest. This was one long track twister. It was on the ground for at least 150 miles, nearly three hours through a good deal of northwest Mississippi and southern Tennessee. And look at the devastation. As far as the eye can see, the sun coming up, the trees have either been lopped off at the top or sheared. All you have is a few limbs on that pine tree. And look what happens when trees fall down on vehicles. Their total loss is this car, uh, this Chevy, forget about it. Wind is blown out of this home. And the most certainly significant damage here, besides what you can't see around back, which looks like a war zone, is the front of the house. This is a brick front. The wind was so strong as it came across the highway, the tornado, it just blew it towards uh, the house. At least EF2, if not EF3 damage. Uh, the National Weather Service will be out here today to survey and hopefully have a preliminary rating later on this afternoon. Oh, man, I'm just thinking about what these people have to deal with so close to, uh, to Christmas. How unusual is this type of severe weather at this time of year? Um, it is fairly unusual, but it's not uncommon. In fact, in recent years, in 2012, we had a Christmas Day tornado outbreak. About 30 twisters touching down from Houston over towards Mobile. Mobile had an EF2 causing more than a million dollars in damage. That was in downtown Mobile, Christmas Day 2012. Then the next year, two years ago, December 21st, 2013, about 15 twisters touched down in uh, Arkansas and Mississippi, killing two. So now three of the past four years, Christmas week, we've had tornado outbreaks. So in recent memory, it's uh, pretty common, but typically in December, we don't have that many tornadoes because the warm human air is suppressed down into the Gulf. This time around, we've had all this record warmth through the month of December. Many cities uh, east of the Rockies setting uh, warmest Decembers or second warmest Decembers on record. So we had all the warmth, we had the humidity, and then we brought the jet stream in. And it typically, basically, you could describe it as a March weather pattern versus a December weather pattern, ladies. That's basically what we had yesterday. If you show me the weather map, I'd say this is not December, this is March. Yeah, well, I think all over the country we're seeing uh weather that we're really not used to at this time of year. Uh, Mike Seidel of the Weather Channel, thank you so much, Mike. Mm -hmm.